guys and welcome to today's video as you can tell by the title today we are bringing you to see the framing house tour i don't know if that's the thing but we're going to show you around what the house is going to look like and what's the progress on it as of now honestly it's only been a few weeks since we last went and the fact that they are already framing and they're almost done with it actually is just mind-blowing they're working so so fast so i'm just super excited to get in there and just show you guys around but we're actually going to make a day out of it and or an afternoon out of it and actually just um drive over there jose is loading kaylee's little um battery powered car so she can drive around the new neighborhood and um we're just going to hang out over there a little bit and we're also bringing some markers so that we can write some quotes on the studs of our new home just to kind of bless the house if you will i found some pretty good quotes um from like the bible verses and then also just like motivational ones i have one picked out or I think a few more than one picked out for every single room so um, we're just going to put those on the studs and i think it'll be very special and like i said show you guys around so yeah let's go ahead and head out to the house
So here goes a second try at doing this um, framing stage video because the first time I think it was a little bit too early on and you really couldn't tell what was what since it was like over there where it's just studs and you could see right through it. But now that for the most part they have the um, plywood up and stuff, it's a little bit more easy to see. So this is the garage. It's going to be a two car garage, just a standard um, garage or whatever. Right now we currently just have a one car garage. So Jose is hogging it and my car has to stay outside, but now we will be having enough space for both of ours. And then over here we have a little landing area so that's the tire bump or whatever so that you don't like run into the house or whatever but we will have this area here and then that's the thing to go up to the attic so this is the entrance into the house from the garage so just imagine a door here and as soon as you step in there will be like a mud room so right here some little cubbies a place to like set down my purse a backpack or just anything that you may have with you and then off to this side is the laundry room so over here we will have the washer dryer and then a sink so all of that so you can get all the laundry done cabinets across the top and then on here we actually opted to change out the door to have a pocket door that way we didn't lose any space with a door having to like swing inside and then just take up uh, space so just to maximize on that we chose to change it out for a pocket door now going back over here this was the mud room and then from here's the like entryway into the living room so this is what the living room will be we have three big um, windows over there that look out into the patio so this will be the living room and it is going to be an open floor concept so over to this side is where the kitchen will be this is what will be the island we'll have the fridge cabinets the stove over there in the corner of the pantry and then we're going to have more cabinets over on this side we actually changed out the layout here it originally wasn't like this that entrance right there would have been here and you would have lost that wall area so we kind of fixed and maneuvered that so we could get more cabinet space so this whole wall will be cabinets pantry again cabinets over there cabinets here with the island the sink will be here the dishwasher will be here and then over to this side we have what will be like an informal dining room so just a nice little area to put our dining room table and sit out here we also have the bay windows over here for lots of natural light and just you know that added um, area there and then off from this side will be the door to the patio so they already have the door here installed and everything and then this will be the patio over here we are planning to put like some patio furniture right there like a sectional and I don't know like a grill over on this side we actually have you see right there we're gonna have a TV mounted and I don't know what else we'll do but that's what that will look like now back into the house here's the view from this side and then over there we have the main entrance the foyer and then like a hallway that leads into the guest bathroom or the kids bathroom whatever you want to call it the kids room and then over here on this side is where our master room will be so let's go into the master walking straight across over here we have a little like sectioned off area so like a little hallway a um, closet will be right here so this will be a closet space and then over to this side is the entrance into the master bedroom so that's what this will be looking like very much bigger than what we currently have as our master room and then just planning on having like the bed here maybe switching out our current one for like a um, king size bed or something but that will be over here and then over like from this corner that's the entryway into the bathroom so you would walk in here and then right in the corner is going to be a soaker tub i really didn't care for one but jose really wanted one so we're going to have one so the tub goes here and then here is the space for the um standing tile shower or whatever so that's there tub again and then over here will be a double vanity sink with a niche space in the middle so that i can just sit down and put like a little stool of some sort and do my makeup or you know just do whatever i need to do to get ready or something and then over to this side there's going to be another door right here and this will be where the toilet is so the toilet is going to have its own separate area we've never had that this is the first in like 
our family, like we've never ever seen that. So if you need to take care of business, you can be over there, close the door, and then you can still access like the sink or take a shower or whatnot. And then over to the side of the, so this is a shower right here, right? And then we have the master closet in here. So we actually changed this out also to where this is um, a pocket door so that we didn't lose again that space that would be like behind the door if we went with a normal door. So this is what the master closet will be. And it's very big. I don't think we own enough clothes to actually even put in here, but that's always great. You know, I'm trying to declutter and just extra storage is always a good thing to have. So we are going to have all of this space. And then this over here, I don't wanna go out back, right? But this will be behind our closet and it will be another um, bathroom. So it's going to be like a half bath that you can access from the outside. So whenever we're like out um, playing or we have a party or whatever, since we're very um, picky about not wearing shoes inside, if somebody needs to go to a restroom and they don't want to come inside the house, take their shoes off or whatever, then you can easily come into this restroom here. So that's what that is there. Now back out into the living room. You can see over here is where the main entrance slash foyer area is. The door, they still have to paint it or whatever. Hi. He was days way up there checking out the top part. But um, yeah, like I was saying, this is the little foyer area. We also um, changed this out to where we could fit a double door because that was a must of mine. We extended like the width of this area to be able to accommodate for that. So we will have that double door there. And then here's the hallway leading into the bedrooms. So right off to this side, this will be the kids' bathroom. So shower, um, tub combo over there, toilet, um, vanity here, and then a small linen closet here. Now coming right back out into the hallway once again, we have another closet here for just extra storage once again. So that's there. And then over here is where the three bedrooms are. So this one will be Kaylee's room. And it's actually the biggest one of the three over on this side. And we just decided to go ahead and give this one to her because one, she's a girl. Two, she's our firstborn and it just made sense. So we decided this would be her room. And then she has a closet over there. We also opened up this space more to be able to fit like the two doors that way you can see more into the closet and just have a better organization system. So that's what that is over there. It's a pretty good sized closet, way bigger than I ever had growing up. Even now it's bigger than what Jose and I have. So this will be nice. And they have some pipes here. They're getting ready to finish off the plumbing. You can see there's a lot of plumbing and electrical work um, still being done or whatever. So that's where they're at now. Over here is Aiden's room. It's pretty much like Haley's, just a tad bit smaller. So this is his room and then that's his closet. Pretty much the same thing again, except this corner, he'll just lose a little bit of area right there, but still a great size for a little boy nonetheless. So now over here is the third bedroom. So this house in total will be four bedrooms and this is like an extra room for now. I may use it as like an office space or a playroom for the kids or just like a guest room. I'm not too sure just yet, but that's what will be in this room. And then it also has once again, the closet over there with the, what will be the two doors there. And yeah, so that's pretty much it for the house tour. Okay, so that's going to be all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along for this empty house tour in the framing stage. I know they're moving along quite quickly, so hopefully we'll be able to move in here in just a matter of a couple more months or so. But yeah, if you're interested in seeing the final empty house tour once all of this is like good and painted and ready to go, ready for us to move in, then be sure you hit that subscribe button if you are not yet subscribed and hit the like button if you enjoyed. And once again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.